May 10, 1845, the Mennonite preacher, Johann Mueller, and his son-in-law, Henry Liza, were murdered in the Iowa territorial town of Franklin, Lee County. The Hodges brothers, William and Stephen, were arrested. Charles Mason, the Chief Justice of the Iowa Supreme Court, presided over their trial in the territorial capital, Burlington, Iowa. After a five-day trial, the jury quickly returned a verdict of guilty. The courtroom broke into applause. <laughs> Though he later expressed concern over the correctness of the verdict, Judge Mason, with depth and emotion, passed sentence. The murder which in point of atrocity may almost be said to be unparalleled in the annals of crime. You have invaded the sacred fountains of life cut off in bloom and maturity of manhood. Two chief supports drenching their hearth with their life's blood. I hereby order that you be taken from this place to the jail of the county of Des Moines. There to remain until Tuesday the 15th day of July next that on that day you will be taken by the proper officer of the county to some convenient place within the same and there between the hours of 10 o'clock a.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. that you may be hung by the neck until you are dead and may God have mercy upon you. Where in Des Moines County was that convenient place? The July 17, 1845 edition of the Burlington Hawkeye offers us several clues. The site was immediately west of town. At the time of the hanging, Burlington was bordered on the east by the Mississippi River, on the north by North Street, on the south by South Street, and on the west by Boundary Street, now known as Central Avenue. So the gallows were somewhere west of present-day Central Avenue. In an article in the Hawkeye newspaper on November 12, 1916, John M. Mackey recalled from personal experiences that the Hodges brothers were hanged near Burlington's Hawkeye Creek. Burlington is sliced up by several streams collectively known as Hawkeye Creek. Therefore, the gallows were located near the portion of Hawkeye Creek west of Central Avenue. The Hawkeye also tells us the gallows were near the Mount Pleasant Road. This 1879 map shows the path of Mount Pleasant Street west of Central Avenue. The original road was very near this route. The blue circle marks Hawkeye Creek in the vicinity where the Mount Pleasant Road used to run. So we have narrowed down the gallows to this area. The next interesting clue is that the gallows were in a natural amphitheater. This 1873 perspective map of Burlington shows a natural amphitheater in our area. Both of these writers state that the hanging took place in a narrow ravine. The trouble is there is no ravine in this area. There was one, though, at the time of the hanging. The ravine has since been filled in. This is all that is left of it. Thousands of spectators who covered the hills. Eight to ten thousand. The black circle shows a 2012 aerial view of our area. That and the hills could easily provide room for thousands of spectators.
Therefore, I conclude the gallows were located here. The 1905 history of Des Moines County states that some of the lumber from the gallows was used in the construction of the basement at 313 Washington Street. Might this be what is all that is left of the gallows?